Whom but me? None say Jupiter, if she petted, nor she say Jupiter, if she petted. Dickert, said my love heir, could be, oh, could Dickert a man too, in wind, oh, wet, rapid, rapid, a scribble reported in water. Rapida scribere, oh, ported aqua. Uh, of course, you cannot get the aqua, <laughs> but uh, but uh, then I've got the scribere. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you you wanted to hear the the Barry song in, in the early volume, Manu, which probably goes back to the 30s. Be happy, you two, whose one aim makes the bride take the bridegroom's name, as the birds on the hedge, nor edge away in time to ask how to may be happy. Uh, it goes on, and uh, this is more of the Latin kind of thing, the rites of Venus, Krasamata Mavit, and so on. Uh, I'll quote part, from my father and his father to the bride, whatever she be, from the unconcerned dances today, from the streets, from the walls of the house tomorrow, from where he works, from the hills, from the sea, what if a thousand has been thrown away, leaves of the fall, gold blow away, joy on their wedding, love tomorrow, loved today. In addition to the long poem A, another major Zukowski work is titled Bottom on Shakespeare. Bottom, of course, is the character from A Midsummer Night's Dream. The book, which is usually listed as a work of literary criticism, was published in 1963 by the University of Texas Press. Uh, well, my publisher finally asked me to explain uh, the book, you know, after it was accepted, so I, I said, well, uh, I, I don't want this as a preface, but you uh, go ahead and, and, and uh, rework it whichever way you want, but at any rate, they use it for a blurb. To me, uh, bottom on Shakespeare is one, a long poem on a theme for the variety of its recurrences. Uh, well, nobody uh, looking at it will think of it as a poem because obviously this is prose, but uh, that's what it is to me. The theme is simply that Shakespeare's text throughout favors the clear physical eye against the erring brain and that uh, this theme has historical implications. Uh, two, uh, valid skepticism that as philosophy of, uh, philosophy of history, uh, what we were speaking about before, taking in the arts and sciences, my book takes exception to all philosophies from Shakespeare's point of view. Uh, that is, uh, it's the physical eye against the erring brain. Uh, three, a continuation of my work on prosody in my other writings. In this sense, my wife's music saves me a lot of words, and uh, she uh, did uh, a note to every syllable of uh, Pericles. Oh, uh, sad. Uh, and for a poet's bi autobiography as involvement of 20 years in the work shows him up, or as in the case of Shakespeare, his words show it, are his life. And I, I like to think as one uh, sort of uh, broods over it, uh, 20 years, uh, that, that Shakespeare maybe uh, read uh, Catullus, and uh, without saying anything about it, writing a long essay about it, there's a section called Latin in here, uh, where I feel uh, the little Latin and less Greek that he knew, uh, know, uh, was supposed to have known according to uh, the uh, proverbial saying, uh, resulted in, in things uh, like uh, this, uh, perhaps uh, thinking of Catullus. And uh, so uh, one, one feels a tie there. Uh, apart from uh, the philosophy of history that one tries to down in, in this book, and there is a philosophy of history, I'll, I'll get back to that when we talk about A. Uh, this might happen, uh, two uh, poets in different times reading the same author. Uh, now, I read you a bit of Catullus uh, uh, before, uh, Mike told us, uh, here, here is, I think, Shakespeare. Uh, this is very much uh, like uh, uh, Catullus's uh, poem to his raft, for example, to his uh, sailboat. Like to the Pontic Sea, whose icy current and compulsive course ne'er feels the retiring ebb, but keeps you on to the Propontic and the Hellespont, and, and so on. 
Uh, that, that is Catullus, number four. Uh, this is uh, uh, Catullus uh, Lesbia Ode. It's an arrangement from uh, Richard II, Vigus and Adonis, Anthony Cleopatra, fellow, some of the sonnets. Uh, but uh, uh, put it together and uh, you, you have one of the uh, Catullus uh, <coughs> Carmens. My oil dried lamp and time be wasted light shall be extinct with age and endless night. My inch of taper will be burnt and done. A thousand kisses and pay them at thy leisure one by one. What is ten hundred? Are they not quickly told and quickly gone? Say for non-payment that a debt should double, is twenty hundred kisses such a trouble? Until of many thousand kisses the poor last I lay upon thy lips. What? Keep a week away, seven nights, seven days and nights, eight score eight hours, and lovers absent hours, more tedious than the dial, eight score times, O oh, weary reckoning. Then in the number let me pass untold, though in thy store's account I one must be scorned, old men of less truth and tongue. Well, it, it, it's my arrangement. I've taken the liberties, but uh, in all this... Uh, simmering over Shakespeare, well, uh, it, it occurred to me that he had something to do with Catullus. Uh, just as I have something to do, and I'll, I'll read uh, one of the bits that I did uh, turn into a, a poem. Uh, and it, it tells you uh, something about my uh, craft. Uh, you can take seven uh, well, how many words? Let's see. Three, five, eight words. Uh, shift the punctuation, shift the cadence, and something else will come up. Actually, this is founded on a line uh, from uh, <coughs> the gentleman, two gentlemen of Verona. And uh, Sid Corbett once wrote me, and he said, do a ballad title on that. And, uh, of course, uh, you're, you're dared. It's, it's like this thing here. Uh, the various strands uh, uh, of it are uh, made of old pieces of wool. Uh, and uh, you start with a pattern and uh, you really don't know. This is for those who are bothered by aleatory chance. Uh, God knows what they're bothered by today. Uh, you don't know where, where it's going, but you're determined, you know, in a sense, by those old pieces of wool and something that's going on. Uh, well, uh, sometimes, if you think long enough of it, something uh, might come out of it. It's not the thinking, but the, it enters into the activity. And so, uh, this is what the uh, seniors odd hours resulted in. And it, it's the same thing. I, I, I don't think my poetry is any better than this. Uh, well, here, here is uh, what I did with the line from Two Gentlemen of Verona. It's uh, come shadow, and uh, you, uh, you really should see this. Uh, come shadow, comma, come, and take the shadow up. Start shifting the punctuation that you might come up with this. <clears throat> And use the words, shift the words too around in, in the line, but use just those words. Come, shadow, come, and take this shadow up. Come, shadow, shadow, come, and take this up. Come, shadow, come, and take this shadow up. Come, come, shadow, and take this shadow up. Come, come, and shadow, take this shadow up. Come up, come shadow, and take this shadow. And up, come, take shadow, come this shadow. And up, come, come shadow, take this shadow. And come shadow, come up, take this shadow. Come up, come shadow this, and take shadow. Up shadow this, come and take shadow. Come shadow this, take and come up shadow. Come take and come shadow, come up shadow this. Up. Come and take shadow, come this shadow, come up, take shadow, and come this shadow, come and take shadow, come up this shadow, 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 come, come and take this up, come shadow, take and come this shadow up, come shadow, come and take this shadow up, come shadow, come and take this shadow up. This is uh, from 
a forthcoming volume of, and a, a section called Songs of Degrees with a valentine the 12th February. Here her clear mirror care is error. In her care is clear. Here her clear mirror care is error. In her care is clear. Here her clear mirror care is error. In her care is clear. Here her clear mirror care is error. In her care is clear. Here her clear mirror care is error. In her care is clear. Here her clear mirror care is error. In her care is clear. Uh, well, uh, what you could do with... Uh, it's hard to count. I can't count about, above five, but uh, I see four, seven, nine, ten, twelve words. And uh, the effect, I, I don't know, if you pray these days, uh, something like a prayer. Uh, it's, it's a valentine. Uh, I like valentines. and they, they, uh, I've gathered uh, quite a number uh, through my life, and uh, I might as well uh, read this one. Barely and widely love, they say, in these words of Paul, barely twelve, and of me, widely published throughout a long career. So unknown, Celia, you are the peeress of this song, making the news notes sing as there our music is called smiling make sure you call your next book barely and widely dear uh, she she has ideas uh, she once uh, thought it'd be wonderful if hollywood did bottom on shakespeare I want to get on to A, and perhaps uh, to the beginning. Uh, born very young in a world already very old. Uh, a is a long poem uh, that goes on all one's life. Uh, though I visualize an end uh, when I've done uh, 24 movements, and I, I think I will have done 20 by the end of this spring. Uh, the idea is... Uh, as uh, much as uh, the brain uh, does err, well, it uh, will willy-nilly get down, and sometimes the eye sees, going back to Shakespeare. Uh, the form, in that sense, organic, or uh, all of one's life, and this is the life, and uh, for the rest, nobody else's business. It's written in one's time and place, and it refers to other times and places as one grows. Uh, whatever w way one grows, uh, takes in, hopes to survive, uh, say, well, uh, like Bach's music, you can go down, you can go up. Uh, that's the interest of it, and uh, all to come through the uh, form of the, of the thing. Uh, to hold it together, uh, I don't know, some of the readers will have to judge. This is NET, the National Educational Television Network.